you're lucky enough to get a hotel right on the highway, you get to hear all kinds of cool trucks. There's logging trucks, there's Walmart trucks, there's FedEx trucks. Even trucks with fishing gear. Just keep that in mind. If you stay at one of the lower cost options, you're gonna be right on the highway. Is that being a pedestrian here is kind of dangerous. Nobody wants to Nobody wants to let you cross. Nobody stops. So this room was 100 bucks a night and then plus $20 per dog. So 140 a night. Not too bad. We had an awesome stay. All right, so yesterday's drive cost $14. That's how much gas I just put in. So we're gonna head up. We're not going to Crescent City. We're not going to Oregon. Um, if you keep up, keep going up 101, you'll get hit the Oregon coast, and that is spectacular. If you've seen the Goonies, it's in that area. Gun Club. I don't know where we're at. All right, let's go to the beach. Like, sounds like LA. I don't quite know where we're going, but I know that the ocean's this way. Hopefully nobody shoots at us. I hear the dunes, I hear the ocean, I think we're at the beach. We got a little mission ahead of us. Let's go this way. Oh, this way. This way. What's up, guys? This is not bad at all. So we're many hundreds of miles north of Los Angeles, up here in Redwood Country. Every once in a while you go to a place that's very reminiscent of home. So this is probably a lot what like uh, Venice and Huntington used to look like back around the turn of the century, except for the Redwoods in the background. But here, all the rivers still run their natural course to the beach, so these sand dunes, it makes you think, you know, everyone wants to live at the beach, but man, if they just made development just a half a mile away from the coast, just how beautiful the coastline of Los Angeles and Orange County would be. 
And it would also be awesome if there was no people on the beach like right here. It probably would help if I checked the tides, if the tide was coming in or going out. Hmm, I'm gonna say it's coming in. Although, this is all wet, so I don't know. Let's not find out. Let's just keep our eyes on the waves. And this is a, a tsunami zone. It's, you know, obviously you can see how the water would go down low and you might not notice it. I guess moral of the story is if you are at Trinidad Beach and the earth starts shaking, get your shit and get out as quickly as you can. It's the middle of summer and it feels kind of like northern Scotland up here. It's probably about 62 degrees or something. This is part of the tug of war zone where the, the clouds want to roll in. Of course, it's easier to do here because the mountains are a little bit farther back. Unfortunately, I always turn, I just out of habit, I turn off my camera when I approach people, but so far, every person I've encountered has been wearing a mask. When I see someone, I just kind of go like this and do this number and wish each other a good day. All the way up California, including Fresno, Bakersfield, everyone is consistently requiring the use of a mask. This area doesn't have enough of a, a static population to kind of sustain itself. So here, if you get hurt on the job, you gotta go to Redding, which is a four hour drive over a mountain pass. And there's Lots of other challenges in this area, this neck of the woods. You know, it's kind of interesting that it's the same state as the one I live in, but it's just a world apart. This region wanted to secede and make its own state called Jefferson. And it was made named after Thomas Jefferson. And the reason for that is he commissioned the Lewis and Clark expedition, which was the first European over transcontinental Foot deal. <laughs> With the legalization of marijuana, I was kind of happy because what they were doing was planting up our public forest land and, you know, going on people's private property and using all kinds of horrible pesticides and shit. And that is not cool at all. All right, well that's where we depart the ocean and we're gonna head over the mountains. We went the entire length of the middle of California, central California, the workhorses of California. So we just went over the pass, which brings us into the Sacramento River watershed. And this is still kind of logging territory up here, but I think if I recall, it gets a little bit, a little bit less the farther you go from here. But you can see where things have been timbered, <laughs> have been timbered. You can see where things have been logged. Yeah, you can see where there's bald patches like that. It's usually because of timber up here and fire, but when it's, you know, you can see the straight lines. Local speed trap.
I was gonna get some pizza. These pizza factories are all over in Northern California. Time for lunch yet. Well, here in the middle of nowhere, and it looks like it's still trippy to see like 75% of the people wearing masks. So, all I'm seeing is gas stations, drive throughs, uh, occasionally outdoor restaurants and stuff. It seems like everyone up in Northern California is doing the mask thing. There's like a million cops, and it looks like they're just itching to right ticket so i'm gonna go to the crosswalk that nobody pays attention people are just gonna drive right by there ain't nobody gonna stop for me Ooh. all right now's our chance and this guy almost stopped for us Oh, he's making a left turn. A broken clock is right twice a day. Seems to be a lot of river-oriented stuff around here. Trinity River. It snows up here pretty much every winter. Rumor is it melts pretty quickly. But I saw some chain-up areas. Lots of other snow-related things. All right, so that's lovely Willow Creek. Let's go. Always with the traffic lights in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes you have to wait for five minutes or two minutes. And sometimes you have to wait for like a half hour, so hopefully it's not the half hour one. We're the first in line, so that's usually not a good thing.
it's hotter than hell outside. It's like 104. And we're going to Del Taco. So this is the first time I've ever stopped in Red Bluff uh, for more than maybe some gas or some food. It's kind of different with dogs because suddenly I had to be worried about the heat. It's so weird going in, getting food. It's like on that movie The Founder where it's uh, where he asks where he's supposed to eat the food and they say in the park. So I'm just going to chill out here because I know the dogs are just fed up. So we got two more hours to Sacramento. Uh, Jerry Brown, is, he's really big on the Delta Tunnel because uh, Sacramento River and the American River, which uh, meet in Sa Sacramento, uh, apparently they have enough water and the San Joaquin River, which comes from the south, doesn't have enough water. So the theory is, is they dig a tunnel, they can put the, uh, use the Sacramento River water and uh, let the San Joaquin River have a little breather, but it doesn't look like anything's happening at this point. over this time. Yeah, that menacing roar. This guy's been nothing but obnoxious since the minute we were having such a nice time and all of a sudden everything has to involve that guy and his fucking stupid fat tires and rocks. People with lawful tires. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, this is like. Oh shit, they're looking for someone. I don't know what the fuck goes on in Redding, California. <laughs> no, you just can't drink in the park. Oh, okay. There's no alcohol. Uh, what about, probably my dogs though, right? The leash? Uh, you should have a leash on. Oh, yeah, I totally should. They left in a, a smoke screen from the, the dude with the tires. <laughs> I was hoping they were looking for him. All right, I need to get my illegal dogs out of this joint. Well, that was an interesting park. There was lots of nefarious activity with some uh, pretty normal activity. And then the cops came and someone robbed the Little Caesars and that kind of uh, ended it. I guess we're gonna head to Sacramento, which is two and a half hours away. We'll be at the state capitol again. No.